Hello everyone, I'm Mike Sokol from RV Electricity and the No Shock Zone. Today I have an interesting little test for you. I got in a new tester, non-contact voltage tester from Southwire the other day. It's their model 4150N, which is nominally rated for 100 to 1000 volts testing, but there's more and it's got an extra 12 volt low range testing. Let me show you how it works. So first off, it's got a couple of the normal features that we like. It's got a little flashlight on the side so we can kind of poke around if we want. Um, when we push the on button, it goes green and it also has a flashlight in the front. So you can kind of see what you're, well, what you're testing. But in addition to the normal 100 volt range, if you push this extra little button down, you can see this thing goes amber. And what it's going to do now is be able to test down to as low as 12 volts AC. So let's see how this works. So anytime you have a non-contact voltage tester, you want to first confirm that the thing is operational. So I'm, I've got this thing turned on right now. You can see with my light. I'm going to go ahead and poke it at a known outlet because I know that outlet is hot with 120 volts on it right now. You see it's beeping at us and blinking at us so we know that the tester has not failed and it's going to give us a false negative. I'm going to turn our voltage all the way down here to zero and now we're going to just start. You can see we've got no voltage on here. I'm going to just turn it up to about 12 volts to begin with to show you the low voltage test on here which is pretty handy. Eh, we're sitting right around 12 volts. I go ahead and turn on while it's on I hold down this other button and you can see what it's doing it's actually finding a 12 volt hot skin which I think is really really handy or a really really nice test um, if you have uh, something maybe in the 30 to 40 volt range or so um, the, the, now these low voltage ones usually are because of nominal leakage currents that you have inside of your RV's electrical system. First off, any of any time in order to read more than three or volt, four volts on the chassis of an RV above earth ground, uh, you have to have a broken ground wire, uh, uh, the ground pin here, the broken ground pin here, wherever, somewhere between the RV itself and um, where it's powered up from the, sh the actual service panel in the campground. So right now we got it at 30 volts. I, I'm holding it like this in my hand. You can see this thing is going off from a few inches away. Pretty handy, huh? If that happens, you know that you've got at least 30 volts or so in the RV chassis, and it can be very dangerous. If you have something on the order of 60, 70 volts, let's say, a lot of times that's from a water heater element that's broken. You can see in this case, this one's to go off from, well, a couple of inches away. Uh, and of course, that means you need to have that repaired. Again, you cannot have a voltage induced on the skin of your RV if your ground is proper. So it, it has to be a broken ground wire somewhere. Uh, if somebody drove a nail through a wire or pinched an extension cord in a door or whatever and broke through the, um, the insulation, now you can have 120 volts on there, um, which is very, very dangerous. And you can see this will go off from inches, inches away. If, um, if you have something this large as an RV, it's going to go off from somewhere on the order of one to two feet away, which certainly gets your attention. So again, remember, um, always test first to make sure the power is on, that the thing is up. Um, it's okay to touch anything live with this because this is all plastic. This is rated for up to 1,000 volts. You should never see more than 1,000 volts in any campground, hopefully, right? Um, norm, test it with the nominal 100 volt sensitivity first by turning it on and just letting it blink. And then you're going to do a low voltage test here um, to see if there's any problems there, right? Makes sense? Now again, 
Um, I think that this is a great kind of test to use anytime you plug into a, a pedestal or whatever, you're going to want to go ahead and make sure that you haven't developed a hot skin voltage on your RV, which can be, uh, can be deadly if you're, if you're under the right set of circumstances. Uh, these are really, really handy for troubleshooting when you have a, a break in the power cord or whatever to fix it. Uh, anytime you get a hot skin voltage, make sure you disconnect from shore power immediately and go troubleshoot it. I've got a bunch of articles I've already done on this. In fact, I'll list a couple of them in the comments below. Okay, I'm Mike Sokol for RV Electricity and the No Shock Zone. Thanks for watching.